Come on, dude. Put him in the boat. Let's see. At least get him up here and get us a picture of it. I see you're doing an awful lot of struggling. How much line you think he's took from you? A couple hundred yards. Yeah. All right. Just keep him tight. Keep him tight. All right, we're going to try to get around here and get this old boat cranked up. If old Chad will ever get the anchor in, he acts like he's about to have a stroke, sissy, a sissy fit up there. All right. Well, he's pulled out enough line, he's got us around the anchor ball. Get the anchor over there, up on this part here, Chet, where it's out of ground way. All right, now he's going to pull the boat around, but we're going to have to go to that damn anchor ball, I reckon. Oh, he's got in it, looks like. I hear it clicking. Maybe it'll pull the line up, pull it up the line. Bring him on up here, right where we can get a look at him. Maybe we can see it there a little bit. What's that, sweat popping out on your forehead? Oh. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Does he even know he's on the line yet? Yeah, he knows he's there. That was that first case of the got to go from here syndrome he had. Okay, get the left string. Step over the line. One foot up. One foot up. Get it in, Chet. Alright, guys. Evidently, Ryan, you must have him hooked pretty decent. Either a circle hook in the jaw or whatever, but just bring him on home where we can get another look at him. We didn't have a camera ready when he come up there and got that bait. It's on the dash. You gaining some, you gaining some ground on him now? I got him. Ah. Woo. Left arm's going to fall off. <laughs> well, you're going to thank that in about another 30 minutes. <laughs> That's right, we'll see you in the house every minute, so I'm trying to check.